here with Jaden Cox, returning national champion. Last year, you were a true freshman national champion at an upper weight. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, Can you tell us what your thoughts are about that right now? It's been a little while. It's in the past, you know. You can't change it, so it's already set. So you gotta keep going and make your, you know, make the present what you can. So that's what I'm here to do. So when you win freshman year, does it help your mentality as far as getting mentally stronger, or is it just the same as it's always been? I think it gets you stronger, but of course that happens even if you don't win. You know, you you grow in the sport, so no matter how it goes. As long as you have the will to, you're going to. And I, I will I have a goal that's set and it's not complete yet, and that was one step to it. Now I have another one, and that's this year, and it involves everything of this year. So I gotta keep pursuing. So you have a goal. What is your goal? To be a four-time national champion. Four-time national champion. Awesome. And. So this is one step in it. How do you approach this match? It's an all-star match, same mentality as all the other matches? Definitely, it's just the year's here, you know? It's not like it's over the summer or anything. You know, this is the year, this is the season. It's time to go. And you know, it's, you know, in this, you know this match doesn't count, you know, against your record or whatever, but you know, I've trained and I'm ready for it. And it'll be fun, you know, I look interested to it. I'm not putting so much pressure on me or anything. Uh, I'm just looking to go out there and have some fun and have a blast, but you know, I'm, my mentality is to run and wrestle. Nice. My question for you is, all right, so you are a true freshman champion. There's got to be a lot of pressure. How do you deal with it? There is none, because if there's any pressure, it's other people trying to put it on me, not me putting it on myself. You don't take any of it? Just That's not my problem, it's their problem. It's, it's nice. They think that there's a problem or there's, there's things to think about or everything, well, that's on them. I'm focused on what I got to do. That's all I got to do. Because once I said this, this was my philosophy halfway through the season last year, and really help me out and I'm going to carry it on this year, you know, I got to do what I got to do. Jaden Cox gotta, has to focus on Jaden Cox and if he does that, my chances of being successful as a person and as a wrestler go up. Excellent. So you've never wrestled Scott Schiller before, right? No, sir. Um, so you're going to go out there and wrestle kind of like just picking up from last year. You're aggressive, going after it style. Exactly. Do what I do. Don't focus on what he's doing. We haven't watched any film. We haven't studied anything. We're just, we, we wrestled, we drilled, we practiced hard. I've worked hard. I've worked too hard to not to try and come here and be successful. What, so you worked hard. What, did you, what was your biggest growth area over the summer? My biggest growth is getting more back points. I really feel like that was a big step for me. Because uh, Clemson helped me a lot with that. Um, helped me with a lot of offense. And merely making my offense on the mat wrestling like offense on my feet. Because on my feet I'm really good at going one, two, three. Yeah. Getting everything flowing together, and, he's, and he was talking about philosophy like your your top and bottom just has to be just like on your feet. It has to be going to one thing to another thing, another thing. He stops this, you go to this, 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 and this. We've been working on that, and I feel like it's increased my wrestling ability just exponentially through the roof. And I can't think of any more for that. That's fantastic. Change your pace. You grew up in Missouri. You stayed home to wrestle at Missouri. Can you tell me about the process that you, you went through to stay there? It wasn't really a hard process, you know. They had a great school. The, I knew that the guys that went there to wrestle also came out and graduated. And I knew that the wrestling team was uh, pretty good. So there wasn't much to think about. I was like, okay, you know, I could see myself going there. And it was easy. I had my family here. Um, and I loved and I loved wrestling. I've watched the new wrestling since I was a kid. So, you know, it wasn't really anything that, I wasn't, that didn't fit. I knew the coaches. We, we knew each other very well. It wasn't like I was starting over a whole new relationship. Uh -huh. So, I think, uh, no, it was just a really good fit. So the process of it was doing like, look for the negatives and positives and there weren't really that many negatives. There weren't really any negatives. <laughs> That's great. Pretty much positive. I mean, I like when local talent stays local because the fan base can follow you along. So exactly. do you have a fan base at your matches now that's local, that's followed you through high school? I think I do. I think I do. I mean, I, I wouldn't really know. I mean, I know that um, my old kids club wrestling uh, team, they come and they watch. They um, so that's really cool. And then that's I get to awesome. go and, and I'll visit there sometimes on Mike Iman's. Uh, and I'll visit there and I'll, I'll say, hey, what's up? And they'll be like, oh, we saw your match. And I'll be like, yeah. And they're like, I'll keep up with them and I'll go see what they're doing right now. Actually, my brother, Jaden Clayton, uh, he's not really my technical brother, blood okay. brother, but, you know, I've wrestled with him so long. And my brother, Jaden Clayton, is in the Super 32s and everything. Nice. He's doing well, so, but. Any other thoughts about tonight's match? Just wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. Looking forward to watching you for the next three years. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much.